Hi, I'm Katya from Vinyl Home and in this video I will show you how to cover your kitchen in vinyl and give it a complete new look. Start by removing the door handles and give it a good clean. Cut the vinyl to size and allow a few centimeters extra for the edges. Position the vinyl on top of the piece you would like to cover and fold back a small part of the backing paper and attach the sticker back towards the surface. It's always good to have an extra pair of hands when you do this as that will help to get the vinyl in the right position. When the first part of the vinyl is attached to the surface the vinyl will no longer move around. Slowly smooth down the vinyl with one hand while you pull the backing paper with the other. If the vinyl is wrong position or you get a bubble, you can easily pull it back up again and start all over. The special water-based glue starts to kick in when it reacts with air. This makes the vinyl easy to work with and reposition during application. the vinyl over one side and make a cut by following the contour of the corner. Repeat on the other corner of the same side and both corners on the opposite side. Fold up the sides where you just made a cut and start working on the other two sides. Here I prefer to use a hair dryer and that's because the edges are normally so thin so you would want to use the hair dryer to make the glue start to kick in sooner. This method is to avoid ear bubbles. Make sure that you only heat on the edges so you don't get any warm air on the vinyl that you already applied as that may mean you get some ear bubbles. It's best practice to make an overlap around the corners as that will make them a lot stronger. The overlap only needs to be about one centimeter wide. Make another cut underneath the door panel so that you can keep folding the vinyl around the edge. Flip around the door to the other side and smooth down the rest of the vinyl. I prefer to fold the vinyl around the edge and cut it so you have about one centimeter left on the back side. This method will make the vinyl last longer and you will avoid unwanted peeling. Flip the door over to the other side and repeat the procedure on the other two edges. Trim off any excess vinyl and after you've done that, use your hair dryer and give it some heat. An alternative application method if you're worried about the look on the inside is to only cover the front and the edges. The door is now ready to be hung back in the kitchen. Most kitchen doors have this clever clip-on system which makes them really easy to remove and reapply. If you discover any ear bubble, just prick it with the needle and squeeze out the ear. The 
vinyl used in this video is called white wood and we used a nice rustic wood grain on the bench tops.